Hey guys, and welcome back to Silent Hill 3. When we last left off, uh, we just found ourselves a key, actually, the medical key. Is it a medical room key? No, that's the house key. Life insurance. I brought this from a vending machine. It looks real enough. Well, I hope so. There's a tag that says uh, Alberton Life Insurance. Okay. And it's uh, hot as hell today, guys. So, there's only one thing for it. It's a nice cold ale. Now, I'm assuming that this is the key that opens that one. I can't think of any other locked doors that we have. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, ale, man. Like, what would life be like without ale? Or alcohol in general. Oh, don't make me think of it. You know, I actually gave up drinking for four years. So it made me, uh, it started making me feel ill. So, yeah, from say 22 to like 20, no, it would have been 24 to 28, I didn't drink. And I can tell you, that sucked. That really sucked. Because I love my ale. There's nothing on this planet more refreshing than an ice cold ale. Uh, and then I went to a um, staff party, actually. Um, when I started working for the range. I can say the range now. Because I don't work there anymore. It was the fucking shittest job I've ever had in my life. And everyone was drinking, so I thought, I'll give it a go. <clears throat> and I remember I was like, had a nice fucking double of rum. And I was like, oh my god, this is going to make me feel so ill. I'm going to be, like, fucking fucked. I drank it, and I was like, I feel fine. And then, uh... I got really uh, slightly depressed because I was like, "Well, I've just wasted all those years of not being, not not drinking for no reason, watching all of my friends have loads of fun." We're going to one. That's where we're going. You got to drink it before it warms up as well. Ah. If anybody gets the chance, check out Sir. Uh, Oh, yeah. Of course. If anyone gets a chance, check out um, alcohol, well, ales from Witchwood Brewery. Amazing. This is the next part of that fairy tale I found. No, wrong. This is actually the beginning of that story. Oh. Once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates of a village. It was very scary and a very bad monster. It would catch people and crunch them up with their big, with its big teeth. The villagers were afraid of the monster, and nobody would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned his knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Ha! Take that! Their swords slashed and their spears flashed, but the monster wouldn't die. The monster tossed the knights into its mouth, one by one, horses and all. What was the king to do? He fretted and fussed and paced the floor, but he could think of no solution. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. She was a very kind and good person. The king asked her to defeat the monster guarding the gates. And that is what happened. So the only part missing is the end, I guess. But I feel like I've read this story somewhere before. I just can't remember exactly how it ends. Maybe I never did read through it, uh, read it through to the end. Maybe. Is this the monster from that book? If it is, and I don't watch myself, it'll gobble me up in no time. I can't tell where its mouth is though. Yes. Well, well, well. We'll be back to see you later, buddy. Let me find a sharper, stabby stick. 
Ah, excellent. Supreme. Ooh. Evening, gentlemen. Evening. I guess we can go either way here. Let's take it slow. Ready your weapon. Prepare for mortal combat. Nope. We're okay. We's okay. We's I. The lock is broken. God damn it. I can hear you, but I can't see you. That is your only advantage this day. Oh, even oh, hello, even lads. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. There we go. A couple of good whacks like that. Excellent. Pretend you're slicing meat, because that is exactly what you're doing. Oh my God. Ooh, son of a bitch. No, no, no. No, no, not having that. There we go. You must become the monster. Terrorize your demons. Give them no quarter. So, what the cheese and biscuits has happened here? Hmm. Ooh, is this the end of that fairy tale? Let's wet the old whistle. Mm. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priest, uh, priestess. What? So nobody gave a shit about the knights and the horses. Figures. God took pity on them and granting their wishes healed the priestess. Really? What about the knights? The priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool. You wish to die again? No. This time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off you. You can't kill me. The monster laughed, but the priestess used... Neither sword nor spear, she chanted, but a single spell. Tao Fu Ego Eris. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry, then died and vanished. Thus, the villagers were able to use the gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon, uh, upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. Until one day. Two. Fui, Ego, Eris. Weird writing. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what was that? I imagine it was not too happy about you uh, reciting that out loud. I'm just saying, okay. Unless... Ooh, the monster has now disappeared. Because we didn't get an item from that. We can't go that way. We have missed a couple of doors up there, which we will go check out. Right, let's roll. Let's go use our words. <clears throat> our words from God. Well, the priestess, but, uh, you know, she's kind of working for the Lord. So. Oh, well, I guess. I kick ass for the Lord. Or something. Show yourself, demon. Ha. Vanished. And I always push the wrong buttons. Always. Ah, okay. There was the monster. He is now gone. So that did actually use up the key. So there's no other hidden doors or anything. Fair enough. Unless now we have to fight this terrible fiend. No? We're now back out of the other side. I guess. Is a sign. A sign for a calf. Oh, it's the one I was just in. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Ooh. My apartment is the other way. But what is this thing blocking the path? Am I still having that nightmare? So close to my home. My home. My dad. Is he okay? I'm sure he is. He must be. He has braved this before, Heather. Don't you worry about that. Alright, so we're not going that way. I guess... Oh, we are actually outside. Like, proper outside. Do we... No, we don't have a map. Figures. Let's stick close to these buildings. Let's see if we can find any loot. I want loot. Guns, bullets, rocket launchers, everything. Sniper rifle won't go amiss, to be honest. Can we check the creepy McCreepy man? What's... Nope. Oh, I am disappointed. You know, Silent Hill 2 is quite open world. It felt like using a big city. But up until this point, this game's been very linear. <gasps> it's a cop car. There has to be a shotgun in a cop car. I mean, obviously, right? I mean, maybe not. There's a whole load of nothing down here, by the look of things. Ah. A door. I don't... I don't really want to go in anywhere. In case we can't come back out. Daisy Villa Apartment. Okay. So, we have the apartment down there, which I... Uh, I guess that's where we're going. Although, she did kind of imply that her apartment was the other way. Let's take our armor off so we can move quicker. Ah, so much better. Full speed. Oh. Okay. I guess... I guess... Um, I don't have anything else to do in this building. I have to get home. Okay. <clears throat> okay, maybe this area isn't quite as big and as exciting as I thought it would be. Don't have anything else to do there. Nothing in the vehicles. Really? Nothing? No health drinks? No ammo? No grenade launchers? Okay. Alright. You're the boss game, I guess. You got me by the arse, I suppose. To the villa. Daisy Villa. Hmm. Sounds like a wonderful place. Let's be prepared to be surprised. I'm guessing it's full of nightmarish monsters and all sorts of fun. Well, that's okay. That's what we like. Well, it doesn't uh, look too evil. That's not my place. Okay. How the fuck was I supposed to know that? I still don't have the map. There's got to be a map here. It's just a dust chute. Nothing to worry about. I didn't say worry about it. That's not my place. And which one is? Give us a hint, Heather. How am I supposed to know? Oh. Ah, Daisy Villa, apartment 102 is carved into the key. Obviously. However, ah, that's 103. Was this 104 then? That's 105. We're going the wrong way. So that'd be 104 that way. Okay. Nothing. I don't need to use the elevator. My apartment is number was uh, 102 on the ground floor. Excellent. But this is my place. Why should I leave the apartment? What? But this is my place. Why should I leave the apartment? Oh, right, 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 right. I guess that's to go back outside. Is there anything in here? The mailbox is empty. Unacceptable. I guess this was before the days of Amazon. 
Let's drop a save. Um, that'll do. Save complete. I used the house key. Yes, well, before we do that, that is not my place. I don't know whose stuff this is, but I think I'll leave it alone. None of it can really help me out right now. How do you know? It could be anything in there. I like the way we're just running home, like carrying a sword. That's pretty badass, to be fair. Welcome home. Oh. Yeah, relax, get comfy. There's only monsters Dad, everywhere. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Uh-oh. Dad? Dad? Um. Oh. Harry's dead? <gasps> no way. Nah, I'm not buying it. <laughs> Hell. No way. Something funny's going on. Harry wouldn't commit suicide, would he? I mean, he has been through some shit, let's be honest. But uh, kill himself? Although, maybe he was moided. See, I don't remember anything about the story, really, so I don't know if he actually is dead. Did you do this? Oh. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. I'll get you for this! There is another reason. To fill your heart with hatred. It must be this way. Holy shit. And your true self as well. You will birth a god and build an eternal paradise. What? I want nothing to do with that. He's the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. So, so you killed him. It's always the one that gave the order. Oh, so we're not... Okay. I mean, I know we're not in Silent Hill, but... Right, you piece of shit. You killed Daddy. Ooh. 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 This guy blocks. Ooh. Nice try, my friend. I would love to be... Ooh, run, evasive maneuvers. You know what? Let's cut a slice out of it. Ooh, that hurt, probably. Let's actually get our armor back on, too. Probably a... Ooh, yes. Armor. Health. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get dangerous. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Nice try, my friend. Nice try. 
Come at me, bro. I want a steak. Oh, God. He has some serious range. How much health does that do? Whoa, dude. No way. Come on. Oh, okay, so we can't... We can't slyly get out of his way either. Oh, shit. I have a feeling the katana may not be as effective as I was hoping. Stop running away, you little bitch. Yeah, because by the time we center ourselves, he's back again. But it's okay. It's all white. It's all white. We got this. You know what? I'm going to admit defeat with the katana. Let's get our boomstick out. Come on, you big ugly prick. Oh, there we go. Oh, whilst you're like that, my friend. Let's... There we go. Uh-oh. Damn it, you get up too quick. Let's go back to the shotgun. And we are kind of out of health. Or out of stamina, at least. Right, now we have our trusty cannon. Ooh, in the back, sir. Fuck you, buddy. You killed my father. That means I need to cut me a delicious revenge steak. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. We might actually get close to dying here. <gasps> no, we can't die. If we die, who's going to avenge daddy? And health. <clears throat> yes. <coughs> Nice try. Fuck you. Oh, God. Camera angle is not doing us any favors here. There we go. Right, quickly. Oh, he's bleeding. I think he's dead. In which case, he wasn't actually that hard. Oh. Oh, we did it. Haha, -ha. he was not that hard. So... Is Harry actually dead then? I mean... Oh, hello. I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. I'm fine, so just get out of here and leave me alone already! Calm down. I just... Calm down?! supposed to do that my father is dead he's murdered mm. she lady got a point get out this is all your fault if it weren't for you I'm sorry then go how's it his fault if it make you feel better i will hmm That logic, though. Is he okay like this? Ah, he's absolutely fantastic. What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. So I guess, I guess he didn't go? <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. What's in Silent Hill? <clears throat> I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. Clever girl. What kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. find her I'll kill her myself that's the spirit we can do that revenge doesn't solve anything it solves everything not, but that's what I'm going to do 
How did you get there? None of your business. <laughs> I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. <laughs> I'll bring the car around back. Come by and we'll finish saying goodbye. Dude. You know, you might die too. That's fine. <laughs> Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. What? Ah, oh. you gotta love Silent Hill. This is that wonderful music. Absolutely incredible. Dad's bookshelf. There's nothing unusual about it. There's nothing odd about the TV or the VCR. Huh. I remember videos, man. They were rad. I'll find that woman and make her pay. I promise I will. I wonder if my dad would be mad at me thinking that way. Nah, he'd be cool with it. At least, I'm pretty sure he'd be cool with it. There are books on the table. Just his usual detective novels. My dad loved them. Ooh, did he now? Intriguing. There's no need to go back on the roof. That monster is dead now. Besides... Douglas is waiting outside. Yes, he is. Just the regular TV. There's nothing different about it. Yeah. Photos and pictures. They aren't particularly meaningful. What, like family portraits and shit? Surely they are. There's nothing to do in the kitchen. I'm not hungry at all. Who could eat something in a situation like this? Actually, you're taking your dad's death pretty well, you know. Um, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just putting it out there, right? If I was in this situation, I think I would react slightly differently. I don't remember exactly when, but I think I got this doll at a garage sale. I still like it, but there's nothing I can do with it right now. This is our room. Anything good in here? This is my dresser. I don't need to change, I'll leave it alone. Okay. Oh, you got your own ensuite, man. Seriously? That's fucking rad, man. Wish I had that as a kid. Ooh. Dad, why did you have to die? You told me you were the strongest man in the world. Liar. Now that's, that's not fair, uh, Heather. That's really not fair. Your, your dad was pretty tough. I can't reach anybody, not the police or the church. What, why would you want to phone the church? Police I can understand, but the church? Well, let's get out of here. Actually, before we do that, let's go save it. Because, my friends, once again, we find ourselves out of time. Time. Precious. Precious time. The one resource we have. <clears throat> that we truly, uh... Can't go back. Uh, right. So I'm going to save it here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This has been a cool episode. I don't remember Harry dying. Uh, but then I only played this once. A very long time ago. So, you know, I don't really remember a lot of this game at all. But yes, interesting. Also, so far we've fought two bosses. And they've both been pretty weak source. I mean, we lost a lot of health on that boss just because I was fucking around with a sword. You know, that was my fault. And my phone's vibrating. Um... <sighs> But yeah, a couple of shotgun blasts and it was game over for that chap. Interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time.